Hello, I'm Danny and I generally categorize myself as a leftist. Unfortunately, I believe leftism as a political camp is missing out on a lot of support because some of the popular policy positions and rhetoric make lefties look insane. A huge portion of that is the foreign policy cliches we hear every day. NATO is evil, USA cannot do any good, military industrial complex exists spooky, we should pull out of everything, we have to stop single-handedly making every left-leaning government fail and let the noble savages of the developing world build a communist utopia for us, helped by Russia and China. Wait, no, that last part is right-wing, not left-wing. Well, regardless, all those ideas are hurting the movement optically and they don't even make any sense because they clash with basic intuitive morality. Let's do optics first. Optics is arguably the most important thing. To grow a movement, it has to be appealing to an average person. And on the topic of Western foreign policy, what the average person hears is we are the bad guys, we have only ever done evil, we should voluntarily become weaker and let regimes like China, Russia and North Korea keep doing whatever they please. When this is the essence of your messaging, no sane moderate person will ever want to be near you, let alone join your movement. So your only choice is to keep radicalizing kids on TikTok who end up growing up to be non-voters and therefore politically powerless anyway. This can be changed. Let's pull the brakes on the edgy talking points and slogans rooted in American self-hatred. Instead, start with the premise that the West isn't perfect, list the tangible problems that affect the average person and suggest your solution. That's it. A good start in the USA, for example, would be to make sure the Pentagon finally passes an audit. Last time they failed to account for billions of dollars, I'm sure those billions could be used to, for example, house at least a couple of homeless people, potentially saving them from freezing to death on the street. Sounds nice to me, but of course it's not as catchy as death to America. Optics done, now let's make it make sense morality-wise. Most people's morality is intuitive and is roughly based on enhancing the well-being of people, justice, protecting the good and innocent against the evil. Protecting anything against anyone requires strength. Now here's the problem. The average person knows the world is a fucked up place, where great power is often held by bad actors. And we are telling this person, hey, the defensive alliance we've built is evil. The industry producing ammunition our allies desperately need, that's nefarious and corrupt. Our nation, well, it has done mistakes in the past with Iraq and Vietnam, so we must become weaker and withdraw from the entire world. Motherfucker, I only exist today because Russia didn't do Holodomor hard enough and my great-grandma actually survived. 90 years of atrocities later, Russia is still doing its thing, completely unburdened by any kind of guilt. Same goes for China, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, etc. So if I'm an average person, instead of crying about the past and putting our balls on the chopping block, I'm going to suggest a better plan. We keep being strong, but make sure we target the bad guys and protect the good guys. This line of action is simple, sounds very intuitive and requires zero mental gymnastics. And what's even better, I believe we are already on that path anyway. So instead of being dragged by the hair and looking like clowns, I think we as leftists should all embrace the political progress. So yeah, those were my ideas on how to improve leftism. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I'm always open to have my mind changed with good arguments. Like and subscribe. See you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.